We'll stay right here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. Where'd our interviewer go? Oh, yeah. oh, oh hi! Hey everybody, I am here with Sunny and Sandy from the Podcaster Podcast. If you don't know what Podcaster is, where have you been? It is the premier <laughs> geocaching podcast in the world. Hey Sunny, Sandy, thanks for being here today. It's really loud behind us as they're cleaning up <laughs> Geo Woodstock, but tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you guys from, for those that you don't know? Uh, we are from sunny, sunny San Diego, California. Awesome, yeah, and you were from the same. Yes. Uh, yes, of course, you're same. together. Being married. You are married. It's good yes. to be in the same state. <laughs> yes, that, yes, that helps. We found that helps. Yeah. It helps, yeah. totally. Yeah. And so how long have you been doing the Podcaster podcast? This summer, it will be 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. Can you believe it? 10 years. One of the yeah. longest running geocaching podcasts ever in yep. the world. Is that right? That is right. That's awesome. Right. Awesome. Is. awesome. Yep. And we're here at Geo Woodstock 13, and you guys have been doing interviews. Tell us what you've been doing. We've been I mean, I mean, briefly, because you've been doing yeah. a lot. Yeah, we've been capturing audio and video. We've been taking photos. We've been talking to all the people that have come to our booth. We've been getting interviews, all kinds of stuff. Awesome. Uh, we got here before Geo Woodstock started, and we've been uh, in Washington, D.C. We've been oh. at Gettysburg, Antietam. We have been um, Harper's, Ferry. Harper's Ferry. We've been doing geo trails and just looking at gadget caches. <laughs> I, it, it's a blur right now, and I'm going to have to actually look at the video I shot so that I can remember what we did. Yeah. Uh, but it's uh, been a lot of fun. Got a lot of lot of uh, great media and footage. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. So for those that have not listened to the podcast, your podcast, what what is your vibe? What is what is included? What is a part of your podcast? Why should people listen? We are a family-friendly show, consistently every single week. Um, we hope, hopefully inspire people, um, bring it, tips and tricks, news, and uh, just all sorts of different ver a variety show from uh, around the world to, uh, to the geocaching audience. So it's a podcast, but we also have a, a website that has tons of resources, uh, videos, tips and tricks, and other things at the website as well. So awesome. Yep. Awesome. And, and one of the things you need to know about is, one of the things I'm impressed with it is that if you're a newbie geocacher, podcaster is good for you. Like you're gonna learn something new. Yeah. But also if you've been a veteran cacher, you're gonna learn stuff too. Yeah. How do you guys find that balance between uh, being uh, palatable for newbies and for veteran cachers? Like how do you find that balance? Yeah, I think it can be tricky sometimes, but we really try because of the variety in the show. Yeah. We don't, it's not like we do a whole entire show that would that would make veterans go, oh, I know all that already. Right. Or a whole show that would make newbies go, what are you talking about? Right. So we really try to do a piecemeal and have pieces that appeal to a lot of different people. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Um, you guys also are the creators of the worldwide flash mob. That's, that's right. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us, how did that start? What was the inspiration? <laughs> and wh what are the statistics? I mean, yeah. are they all in your brand? You know how many uh, people have done this? Every single, <laughs> yeah, down to the decimal point, actually. Oh, good, Everything. good, tell us. <laughs> well, the way it started is I, actually, we attended an event like this. Okay. Um, we attended a multi-day mega event, and we had a great time. Yes. We had so much fun. And um, we came home and thought, wow, those, those events are so different from your standard, you know, meet at a pizza parlor, and it was a great thing. What if we went in the other direction? What if we had an event that was really, really short, like 15 minutes long, brought people together, and what, what if we call it a worldwide event so that people around the world can share in the experience of 15 minutes happening at the same time? And so on our show, we just talked about it, and a lot of people thought it was enough of an interesting idea that they jumped on it. And we've had uh, worldwide flash mobs grow, and actually yes. this year we're having worldwide flash mob number 12. 12. But the numbers are astounding at times of yes. how many countries and how many <laughs> uh, individuals that we Let's estimate. See if I can remember. Yeah. When we start, we're, this will be 12. This will be so 12. So when we started, there was, I think, just the US and Canada involved. Yeah. There's maybe yeah. 20 events, yeah. a few hundred people. Yeah. And last year, there was. Uh, 50 some countries? 50, 50 countries. The United countries. States is one. 50 so. countries. I think so. Yes. And I know there was 27,000 people. Yes. Oh my gosh. At 
maybe eight or nine hundred events. It was just crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, very few people can say that they have started a worldwide movement yeah. in right. anything. It's right. A movement, and yeah. it, it is yeah. it is a movement, and it keeps kind of snowballing. That that's it's just so really much fun. cool. That's yeah, people, really people cool. People enjoy it. It's it's that's quick. Really cool. It's fun. Yep. One of the things you need to know, if you've watched the geocaching videos on my channel uh, before, you have seen Sunny and Sandy on our videos three separate times. I don't know if you remember, three times. but the first time I met Sunny, we went geocaching in Minnesota cold. Freezing. Freezing. It, was it wasn't that, freezing for him. It wasn't that bad. It was freezing. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. But he lives there. So yeah. Don't, so, it's... so for fun, right here, I'm going to put a link right here, and you can watch that. You can watch. Sonny uh, freezes butt off. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I, I, exactly. Yes. So that was great. And then, then I have a video of you guys at MOGA in Iowa, like right. three years ago. Right. You're like running in. You that was fun. You competed. That was fun. Yeah. That was a fun. You were already back because you guys won, right? Yeah. yeah we won that yeah. year. So that's what <laughs> you can saying. do when you win. <laughs> so is you sit back and watch other people come in. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you want to see that, it's literally a, probably a 10 second video of you yes, guys running in. Running, yeah. in, running yeah. in. It's right here. You can click the link right there. Oh, we're going through history. How do you do that? That's I know. Amazing. It's That's the magic, magic of YouTube. See, in, in, the, in the video world, it's, you can do all kinds of magic things. That's awesome. So anyway. Very cool. Um, but the most, this is the most notoriety, and this, uh, this is, I owe you a debt of gratitude. <laughs> but um, I submitted a video for uh, the very first Geocaching International Film Festival. Right. Right. It's called My Geocaching Addiction. I wrote a script and I was trying to think like I needed a punchline the video if you don't if you haven't watched the video it's right here <laughs> okay go watch it later okay welcome back and it was all about you know it was like my strange addiction all about strange. Yes. but on those shows there's there's the show intervention and I was like I need somebody to to have an intervention yes and I was like no better person, no better people Sunny than Sonny and Sandy. Sandy. And they say yes. Yes. We this absolutely was, was this we had a little cameo in his video. Yeah. Yep. Award winning video. Award winning. Award winning. Well, you had something to do with that. <laughs> and because, was that your first geo acting it was, moment? I think. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was the, our very first geo. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the, the debut. First and yeah. only. What yeah. were your thoughts? What were your feelings when I approached you to do that? Well, you know, and we looked at the script. <laughs> And we studied it and we realized it was such a well poignant script yeah, that had right. so many layers of, me of messages, like an onion. <laughs> so many layers that we decided, oh my gosh, we need to do this thing. Um, and so we decided to say yes and do that. And you know, I'm a method actor and so I practiced, uh huh, uh huh, yeah. Yes. That was, the best <laughs> that was really yes. good. Yeah. It's very hard oh, yeah. to like not have somebody on the other side. On the other side. Right. right. But I think the thing that really maybe got you was during that segment that you were on, if you remember, mm. there's a point where I am actually smashing an LPC mm. with a bat. I yes. Did that. that that put you over on the script? It, it did. You know, that <laughs> that that part of the script said yes. That that destruction absolutely put me over. That 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 did it. Awesome. Um one more question. So how has geocaching impacted your life in a positive way? Well, I'd have to say a couple ways. Um, maybe the first way is that it allowed me to come up with a very creative proposal oh. to propose to my sweet wife. Um, <laughs> and, and geocaching love. love and, so, love and so the creativity, it allowed me to um, put together a caching proposal uh, as well. Yeah. Yeah. And she said yes. She's and here. She and I said yes. She's yes. here. Otherwise she wouldn't be here. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we'd be in different states. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. How about yeah, you, Sandy? For me, I mean, it's kind of a combination of the geocaching and doing the podcast. Yeah, yeah. But yes. The, the people, I'd have to say, hands down, yes. the, the connections, yep. the people, the, the amazing. I mean, that all the geocachers we've ever met are just really amazing. Yeah. That the really connection are. of something really are. that we share um, that's kind of unique uh, is just awesome. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Tell us where people can find you. Okay. So head on over to podcasher.com, podcasher.com, and you'll find all the goodies that you need to find. How many shows? Oh, uh, right now we're at, I believe, 515 shows. Should we tell them to start at number one? Yes, <laughs> start at number one. Okay, get some coffee. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stay with the current one. Okay, yeah. work your way back. back. Yeah. Yeah, and the reason we're saying that is because there are people who have found our shows just yeah. now, and they go, yes. ah, and they go back, and they start listening to other shows. Yeah. And it, um, it's fun. yeah, they're, they're never the same people after that. So. Awesome. Yeah. So podcaster.com. Podcaster.com. Yep. Subscribe on iTunes. Absolutely. And also, there's another website you have. 
Uh, you, pocket lenses? Yes. Oh, yes. It, geocachers love to take pictures. Yes. Geoca geocachers love to um, uh, uh, take pictures so that they can um, document all of their geocaching finds. And if you want to learn how to take uh, great pictures with small compact cameras or smartphones, head over to pocketlenses.com. Awesome. And that's another site that I have with a podcast and all a whole bunch of free tutorials there as well. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Um, especially after a big, busy day. <laughs> yep. I think we're all ready to take a nap. So. Yeah. yeah, So. Definitely. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See ya. Bye. You know, do these. They're going for the cheese, so yes. I get like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, Josh. Okay, yeah. Do it. Do, do so something. They lay down here. Oh, yeah. Home. Oh yeah. You know, they're doing right, all Do that the again. That, that's going to be the thumbnail for this video. There. <laughs> uh, so they, I mean, there's whole bodies in here. Oh gosh. And people, but it's fun. And it so, is fun. like we said outside, the cash doesn't have to be hard. It just got to be fun. So this is a fun cash. And awesome. it's a great picture.